Welcome, friends, and I offer my warmest regards for your enjoying an abundant, joyous holiday season. I've been having a lot of fun lately at the print shop printing off temperance pledge cards from the Washingtonian movement founded in 1840 in Baltimore, Washingtonian Pledge, the Band of Hope founded in Leeds, UK in the 1840s, the Women's Christian Temperance Union, founded in the 1870s in Hillsborough and Cleveland, Ohio. There's so many guys. The National Christian Temperance Union, founded by Francis Murphy, also in the 1870s in Pittsburgh. This guy, Francis Murphy, an Irish immigrant and a, a reformed drunkard who was actually jailed in Maine um, by violating the state's prohibition law that was passed, I believe, in 1852 with Neil Dow was behind that movement. Well, Francis Murphy, anyhow, really interesting history. This guy um, garnered a, a lot, a huge following in the Pittsburgh area and, and later moving to Los Angeles. I may do a whole video on him sometime. If you're interested, let me know. All of this gospel type pledge stuff was also happening in the 1870s, 1880s. So basically from the 1840s, through the 1870s, 80s, and 90s, the Washingtonians were based on um, alcoholics helping each other. Okay, so the undersigned here, Sarah Dunbar, do solemnly promise totally to abstain from the use of all intoxicating liquors as a beverage, the manufacturer sale thereof, directly or indirectly, I also promise to use my best exertions in all suitable ways to induce others to adopt this pledge really a commentary against the alcohol industry, the liquor industry at large, guys, which ultimately leads up to prohibition in 1920. And you're going to see a lot of that theme kind of demonizing or directly demonizing the alcohol industry in all of this pledge movement stuff. You can see how it's ramping up towards a um, legislation like it did. And the Band of Hope in England, again, very beautifully designed cards from the Band of Hope. They're still extant in Hope UK, doing a lot of great work in England. Promise to abstain from all intoxicating drinks as beverages. The Women's Christian Temperance Union. I hereby solemnly promise God helping me to abstain from all distilled fermented and malt liquors, including wine, beer, and cider as a beverage, and to employ all proper means to discourage the use of and traffic in the same. Uh, Francis Murphy, we were just mentioning the Irish immigrant, is with malice towards none, with charity for all. That became very popular on these pledge cards. I, the undersigned, do pledge my wor word and honor, God helping me, to abstain from all intoxicating liquors as a beverage, and that I will by all honorable means encourage others to abstain. This gospel temperance pledge card has some interesting language on it around the border. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Sounds like, I think that's from the gospels. To bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound, Carmel Chapel, 134 Bowery, New York City. Believing that the use of intoxicating liquors destroys health, promotes vice and poverty, and imperils the welfare of the soul, I hereby solemnly pledge and bind myself that by God's assistance, I will abstain from all intoxicating liquors as a beverage and that I will endeavor to persuade others to do the same. Thanks for tuning in and sharing this video if possible. And I look forward to reading your comment below in the comment section.